Mark here for Mark's Max Muscle. And today I'm going to be doing a profile on a bodybuilder by the name of Kenichi Sumitsu. Sumitsu will be the first bodybuilder to be featured on my channel from the Orient. So without further ado, let's get started. Kenichi was born in China, but later moved to Japan. I was actually unable to find his date of birth. But if I had to guess, I would say he was born somewhere around 1950 judging by these pictures that were most likely taken in the early 1970s. Sumatsu competed in the short class, so I would estimate his weight to be around 175 pounds, with a height of 5 feet 1 inch. One thing we do know about this man is that he had an incredible physique. Look at that massive pec development on this man. This massive chest, in combination with that tiny little wee waist, gave Sumatsu just incredible proportions. Look at the conditioning of those abs. Keep in mind now, this is the early 1970s. Besides having chest development and abs resembling that of Serge Nebre, Kunichi also possessed a very impressive set of forearms. Not to mention a, a good set of biceps as well. In my honest opinion, Kenichi Sumatsu has one of the most incredible physiques of the 1970s. Kenichi would place second at the 1970 Mr. Japan contest. He would once again vie for the Mr. Japan title in 1971. This would be his year as he captured that title taking his rightful spot alongside other great Mr. Japan champions. In 1972, Kenichi entered the IFBB, and right away, he placed first at the Asian Amateur Championships. Now, it was time to compete against the best in the world. It was time to compete in the Mr. Universe competition. The 72 Universe had a fully stacked lineup of talented bodybuilders. Mohamed Makawe was also featured in the short class alongside Sumatsu and many others as well. But Mohamed Makawe is easily one of the most accomplished bodybuilders of all time, being one of only two men in history to score a victory over Lee Haney on the Olympia stage. Kenichi would place ahead of Makawe and took the short class title of Mr. Universe. But in my opinion, a victory over Mohamed Makawe is much more of a victory than the title he had received. Kenichi would compete one more time in 1977, this time for the IFBB's version of the Pro Mr. Japan title. He would place first, putting a fitting end to this incredible physique on the bodybuilding stage. Kenichi is one of those hidden gems of the bodybuilding world that really made an impression on me. His physique was truly ahead of its time. And I feel fortunate to be able to present a video on this guy so other people can be inspired by this incredible athlete. He is Kenichi Sumatsu, a bodybuilding legend. Well, that about does it for that one. Let me know in the comments section below if there's any other forgotten bodybuilders like Kenichi that you'd like to see a profile done on. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit like and subscribe if you did. And that's it for now. This is Mark for Mark's Max Muscle.